Hello and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth Bocor, your host for this special episode where I was in Montreal recently where I uh, had an opportunity to tour Fast Wheels. I'll take you on that tour and also talk to some folks at toprap.ca. So sit back and enjoy the show. All right, and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. As you heard, my name is Kenneth Bocor, your host for this special edition where I'm focusing on Fast Wheels a company here in Canada that does a lot of aftermarket rims and sells a lot of uh, tires and uh, wheel sets from all the major manufacturers and they have a lot of their own stuff. And it's a pleasure to meet my good friend Ian Pavelko. How are you Ian? I am well Ken. Welcome to FASCO. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's worth the drive to the Montreal area just to come out and see your establishment. Now for people that have been following my channel, especially the podcast, I had Ian on probably about a year or so ago where we talked specifically about winter tires. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to follow that up. Again, we're approaching the winter season. Talk a little bit about that, but mainly just kind of showcase what you guys do for fans, uh, for people that have cars, of course, and not just Tesla vehicles. This can be any vehicle, but obviously you guys do a lot of EV business. So a little bit of insight into that and just talk about Fast Wheels. So what can you tell me a little bit first about what you do here at Fast Wheels? Well, um, my job as Director of Technical Services is mostly data acquisition in order to determine what the car actually requires. And then from there, our product development department can go and build the wheels. Um, but I wind up getting involved in, in some of the conceptualization of the products as well. I used to be uh, a product development director, so uh, the wheel uh, design is still something that's near and dear to my heart. So even though I'm mostly data geeking all day long and yeah. figuring out what's going to fit the car and, and working with our IT team for our, our software that generates the applications, uh, I do occasionally get involved in some nice. of the design projects. And of course, my baby, my little stepchild right next to us here is the EV01. I work yeah. very closely with our... Uh, our product manager, Ryan McDonald, on this about two years ago. And some of you might have seen the product and maybe seen some of the videos, terrific well, videos. Hopefully you saw out. my video last year when exactly. I did my tire change. This is what there I got go. on and I've got them on right now again. Got them so, here. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, in the EV uh, space, this has been a real star for us. There really haven't been too many companies that have developed something specifically for EVs mm -hmm. where lightweight and particularly aerodynamics are right. crucial yeah. to maintaining range. And we really wanted to attack that. The EV01 uh, does a terrific job at that and we now have it in sizes uh, from 16 inch all the way through 20 inch for virtually every conceivable popular EV and more and more applications coming out every year. So that's that's been a star product for us. So yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, that's something I was really proud to be associated with. But as you point out, we don't just do EV wheels, we do almost everything imaginable. So exactly, yeah. Fasco is the parent company. That's yep. the name of the, the organization itself. Okay. And below that, we have several different brand names. So we have mm -hmm. Fast Wheels, which is a whole range of different uh, wheels for cars, trucks, you know, in, in everything from luxury to sport applications in every conceivable size. Mm -hmm. uh, and that has some offshoots like Fast EV we just talked about for electric vehicles. We have Fast HD, which is specifically for trucks, mm -hmm. so the heavy duty line. Yeah. Uh, we also have Fast FC, which is our competition wheels, which we actually race on. They're developed for our own Boss 302 Mustang race cars and that same nice. technology. And those actually transfer well to EVs because lightweight wheels, of course, with EVs. We have our replica line where mm -hmm. we offer reproductions of popular OEM designs nice. to fit a wide range of cars and bigger range of sizes and color. And then we have our creme de la creme, the Braylon line, Braylon mm -hmm. alloy, yep. which is now our high end, large diameter, custom machine. So the tailored yep. suit, or if you want, tailored shoes for nice. your car where everything is, is custom is machines. primary for everything. luxury vehicles or could be for anybody across Can the board? It can work for yeah. anything. We yeah. target larger vehicles, yeah. luxury vehicles, mostly staggered okay. applications and so on, but they fit yeah. a wide range of uh, vehicles, so yeah. Okay, it's so we are gonna take a quick tour and the beeping that you, or the, the horn blowing that you've heard during our conversation is because the warehouse is behind us. So we're yep. gonna go back there. Ian's gonna show us a few of the important steps about the company and give you a little bit more about the background and some viewpoints about how they operate, a little bit more in Insight into the tire and wheel business. So shall we go check out some more stuff? We shall. Let's do that. Okay.
have here is a device called a faro gauge. This is um, used most frequently in uh, industries for manufacturing for doing QC checks, but you can do all sorts of different measurements with it. It's more specifically known as um, a CMM, a coordinate measuring machine. So basically, as soon as you start moving it around, it knows where it is in 3D space, and what we do is we use it to measure brake calipers, hubs, stud lengths, any mechanical component anywhere near the wheel well of the vehicle. That's kind of our secret sauce in terms of how we can be so precise with our fitments. So essential tool if you want to really have the most perfect fitment and what's a lot, it's really what allows us to give our guaranteed fitment through our fast finder software. So as you can see we're something of Mustang FedEx around here that's actually our owner Glenn and his son Lee who raced in the Canadian Touring Car Championship with these Mustang Boss 302s of which we have I think four of them right now in our possession along with our race trailer and this goes from event to event across eastern Canada uh, competing in the various uh, events and one of the nice things about this is it gets us the opportunity to actually test our products in battle. I mean a lot of companies like to say they build racing wheels and we actually build them and we race on our racing wheels. It's the ultimate playground, test ground, whatever you want to call it to validate the product. So the FC04 is what you see here. These were special size and um, specification built for the Mustang Boss 302s and from that we springboarded off and we built the whole line that you see today in the FC04 ranging from 17 inch up to 20 inch for all the different cars out there that we offer them for. But know that we don't just say they're race wheels, we actually race them and that's really what improves the breed. So we're in a, our CNC shop where we have two Mazak uh, three-axis uh, CNC machines where we can mill, drill, uh, change center bores, custom drill uh, bolt patterns for different wheels, basically even customize the offset if we need to. So it's kind of the heart and soul of what we do on the custom line for Braylon where we're drilling basically wheels on demand specifically for vehicles. But we can also do with fast wheels, replica wheels, whenever we need to tailor a specific application. This is where it happens. So these guys are really some of the top experts in North America at doing this in a very efficient manner. These guys have actually developed a technique where they can put the wheel in the machine, drill it without harming the paint, and it's all done through our secret sauce programming. It's pretty impressive and something we're very proud of. So as you can see, in this particular instance, this FC04 is our A version. It's got an oval lug pocket, and that means we can actually drill the bolt pattern wherever it needs to be on a range of about 5 on 100 to 5 on 120 millimeters. And again, we do this without doing any covering. And what will actually come out the other side when we're done is a fully finished lug pattern with the 60 degree seats all done. And you'll notice we haven't touched the paint at all. And this is all done just as you see it. We just have to wash the wheel off after it's done. And it's perfect in absolutely every respect, exactly as it would come from the factory if it was done there. Welcome to the Fasco Warehouse. Uh, this is one of two that we have in Canada. Our main facility here in Montreal is about 200,000 square feet. We have another facility out in Airdrie, just north of Calgary, which is 15,000 square feet, soon to be upgraded to a 40,000 square foot facility. Uh, what you see looking around right now is about 120,000 odd wheels plus probably about half that many tires as well. Uh, lesser known fact, not only are we a wheel manufacturer and distributor, but we are also a tire distributor. So one of the things we do offer is complete mounted packages. So we can give you the wheel, the tire, mounted, balanced, ready to install on the vehicle when it arrives at your shop. We have all the TPMS sensors, all the hardware, absolutely everything that goes with it. So we don't only build the wheels, but we offer complete wheel tire mounted package solutions. All right, well, and listen, that was an awesome tour. I got a little bit more information than what you folks have seen here, but I think you catch the drift. This is a fantastic company, all kinds of good things happening. I'll tell you, these employees are really proud of what they do. It really shows them the work and, and the environment that's here. Any final thoughts for the viewers for today? Well, thank you so much for saying that, Ken. I think it's a real point of pride for us. I mean, it comes from the president, Glenn, all the way down through the family and, and everybody in the company. We absolutely love what we're doing. We're very passionate about it. We hope that that shows in the final products and service. I mean, it's, it's kind of one of these crazy businesses that you have to love to do. Yeah. And, and I, I, I think it shows when you walk around, you talk to everybody. As, as, as crazy as it is, it it's, it's fun, it's exciting. And yep. I mean, we love doing it. And hopefully you all love the product. And where can folks buy the product? So if they're interested in 
learning more about fast wheels and what you carry and uh, what's good for their cars, where, how can they find out more? Absolutely, you can go to any of our brand websites, so fastwheels.ca, replica, spelt with a K, .ca, Braylon, B-R-A-E-I-L-N.ca, uh, and at those locations, you can enter your uh, postal code, you'll find a dealer locator, and that'll show you who the retailers are, whether they're brick and mortar or whether they're online in your region. And you can look at the different wheels. There's an online application guide where you can punch your car in and it'll show you all the different models that are available for each brand. So go ahead, check it out, you know, find the retailer closest to you and, you know, go for it. Well, hey guys, uh, I'm still in the Montreal area after my visit with Ian at Fast Wheels, and I wanted to stop by this place, topwrap.ca. Now, this is where I got my side stripes done for my uh, Model 3 originally, and you can go back and check that episode out. Um, but I wanted to get them redone because I didn't do the best job in putting them on, so I was in the area, I wanted to stop by and see Top Wrap and get that done. I also wanted to get a PPF done for my front bumper only. Figured it's time now after a year to maybe get it done before I get more nicks. So since I was here, I stopped in to uh, this Top Wrap and I want to introduce Josh. He's the manager of Top Wrap here in Montreal. How are you doing, Josh? I'm good yourself. Excellent, great. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. My pleasure. Josh, maybe you could tell me a little bit more about Top Wrap. Uh, tell my viewers a little bit more about the company which, and what you guys do, what kind of services you're offering. So Top Wrap, we focus mainly on aesthetics. So we'll do aesthetics and protection. So anything, if you want to change the color of your car or protect the, your car, mm -hmm. like PPF, we'll take care of. If mm -hmm. you want to do a chrome delete. Yeah, chrome delete, uh, full wraps, I mean, all those kinds yeah. of services, right? Exactly. Yes. Specifically to do with the bodies and uh, you know, the, the appearance factors and the protection, as you yeah. said, for the paint. You can do a little bit of touch-up work too, but you're not really a body shop or a paint exactly. shop, correct? Okay. Minor chips, little scuffs, stuff like that we can take care of okay. also. Mm -hmm. We also offer detailing services, so oh, ceramic okay. coating, polishing, yes. yeah. interior shampoos, window tinting. These are all services we offer in-house. Mm -hmm. If ever you get dents, we also take care of those also okay. before we work on your car. Mm. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So the small dent. So, so as I mentioned uh, earlier, so what I did is I had my stripes redone, which you guys have done a great job, but I also figured I'll take this opportunity and just get my bumper PPF because I've been kind of kicking that idea around. And after a, about 14 months, and I've got over 30,000 kilometers on this vehicle, man, I've been doing a lot of driving. I do have some dings and some nicks in here, but mainly because of the, in the summertime, the bugs. This thing is a bug bag that, can you tell me kind of the process to do something like a bumper PPF on this Model 3? Yeah. So before we do any work on a car, we're gonna do a thorough wash. Mm -hmm. We're gonna degrease all the edges that we're gonna be sealing. Our kits are designed in a way that we wrap the edges mm -hmm. and really try and make it as seamless as possible. Mm -hmm. That way it looks almost invisible to most people. There are very few reliefs, so that way most people will never be able to tell that there's PPF. That's the goal that we're going for. Mm -hmm. We spent quite a lot of time adjusting our kits in our software just to make sure the pattern fits really, really well. Teslas, we've done countless of them, so our kit is really well designed. Other cars, let's say the 612, 812 that we have beside us, will spend probably a day and a half just redesigning the kit completely to mm -hmm. make sure the pattern fits properly. Um, so how can people find you guys and uh, um, you know, what's the process of the interested in booking a service? So you can find us on our Instagram, Facebook, or even our website, Top Wrap Canada. In terms of booking, we are taking reservations for January at the mm -hmm. moment. It's always better to call yeah. the shop, find a date, let us know when you're supposed to be getting your car, if you've received it already. We always like to have you come in for an estimate beforehand. You could have a look at our services. Yeah. Look at our brochures. If you want to change the color, we can choose a color with you. We can help you design what you have in mind. Okay. And then, again, you do have that, that service of DIY kits as well that I yep. mentioned earlier. So if people want to buy, get the Stripe package that I have or other, and it comes in different colors, you offer that as well, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So we sell online side decal kits for Teslas. We're in the process of designing one for the Model Y as well which will probably be released either by the end of this week, if not next week. Oh, great, okay. We also sell DIY protection kits. So if you wanna do door edges, door sills, mm -hmm. even a little rocker panel kit, these are all DIY friendly. And we have instructions on our YouTube channel as well. Yeah, which is what I use to uh, do the side stripes. So 
even though it wasn't perfect, it lasted a year anyway, so I was pretty happy with that. Well, listen, Josh, I appreciate uh, you guys helping me out here and uh, doing this. I've been kicking this idea around a lot. It's great to meet you finally in person. We've talked over the phone, and the best of luck, uh, I know, with the holiday season coming up. All the best for the holidays. And again, okay. viewers and uh, listeners, if you're interested, reach out to these guys. If you're in the Montreal area and you want to get some work done, uh, these guys are great. So thanks a lot, Josh. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you very much again for the tour. Hope everybody enjoyed this edition of the EV Revolution Show. Again, thank you very much for watching on YouTube and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Always a humble thanks to Patreon supporters. You know who you are. I give you a shout out each and every show in the, in the credits at the end. And everybody continue to stay safe. We're not out of the woods yet, but we're getting there slowly but surely. You, we had to wear masks, of course, but we're walking around here. And until the next episode, again, everybody, keep your eye on this fast-moving industry. And until the next one, I'll see you when I see you. Take care and bye-bye.